So what are you cooking? Uh, we're gonna make some pork tacos today. We're gonna kinda change a little bit on uh, a little spin, uh, different spin on pork rib tacos. Mm. And uh, I'm tired of like, every time I see ribs on the, on the, on the internet, I see uh, brown sugar, apple juice and this coated that coated what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna turn it around and we're gonna make tacos out of these okay i'm not that crazy about sweet meats anyways i was gonna say um, yeah i know it's like you know remember the times that we were always looking around for sauce for like let's find the right yeah. ribs and all that i'm like you know what you need to put all that sauce on your ribs <laughs> you need to rethink it okay so and it doesn't really matter about removing that membrane or not. Okay, so hi guys, welcome back. And mm -hmm. uh, we're we're gonna turn this around, and we're just trying to kind of trim this up. We are making our version of pork, pork tacos. Okay, um, costillas, costillas de puerco, you know, all kinds of different things, and it's very simple. Um, we're just gonna we're just gonna season these up, throw them throw them in. The, you can actually throw them in the oven, or you can cook them on a smoker, um, and you're pretty much gonna get the same same result. All I'm gonna do is this right here, um, in my shaker. I've got equal parts salt, pepper, uh, garlic, and that's it. All right, it's very simple. No brown sugar. No brown sugar. You know. All right, so we're just gonna season that on one side, season that on the other side. All right, and I got uh, I'm gonna pop them in the oven. I got them for about uh, I got them at uh, 400. So it's almost kind of like a hot and uh, fast and uh, hot and fast. Not too much slow and slow, but it'll do this. It'll kind of come the same thing. So basically this is gonna kinda of like braise in their own juice and all that stuff, and it's gonna come out great. All right, we're gonna pull them out, uh, remove some of the fat, and then we're going to, we're going to, um, you know, clean the bones off, chop it all up, and then make tacos. So, all right. Um, oh, I just realized we're out of foil, so what I'm gonna do is just <laughs> cut them and Throw them in a... What were you going to do with the foil? I was going to foil. I was just going to wrap it up in here and cook them. That's it. But since we're out of foil, all right, we're just going to cut along the rib right there. All right. No big deal. I've got a nice. little, little uh, uh, what's it called? A, a Dutch oven. Mm -hmm. So boom. There you go. There you go. I'm going to pop it in. Leave that closed. And uh, we're gonna put them in the, toss them in the oven, uh, let them sit there, let them, let them cook at 400 for about an hour, okay? And then uh, we'll be back, kind of check on them, see what they look like, um, flip them over, let them do whatever they need to do, and then uh, we will go from there and see where we're at, okay? So this shouldn't take too long to get to temperature. This is already at 400, so we're just gonna let that cook. Um, for an hour and then we'll be back in just a little bit all right we'll be back okay so it's been about an hour we're gonna come check this out all right all right now we're gonna put them over here it's the hot all right let's see what we got okay so there we are okay so this has only been an hour and uh still look like they need to be going through a little bit and yeah, I'm just gonna turn them around and then put them in there for about another hour. And then, uh, actually, let me flip this out. Let's put that on top. Okay. And we're still keeping it at about 400 degrees. It'll be fine. Yeah. Push that back down. Okay. All right. And then we'll be back in just about another hour. Check it out. And we'll go from there. Okay, so it's already been about two and a half, three hours, and it should be about right. All right, so the little ribs, 
We don't have to worry about them being, you know, fall off the bone or anything like that. They're cooked through, okay? You can see that the, uh, the meat is pulled back from the bones. A lot of the fat rendered off, okay? This isn't like, you know, competition ribs or anything like that. This is just gonna make some ribs in the top. All right, so, very simple, all right? We're just gonna pull these off, cut them down there. See, they cut out pretty good. Yep, ligaments and tendons, actually. Let's cut that across. Cut that part off. All right. Oh, well, actually. Dale, look at that. See? You just fall off the bone. You just fall off the bone. So that's all that is to it, you know? All right. And then right here you have like, you know, little ligaments, I mean, uh, tendons and stuff like that down the bottom. Just go like that. Cut that part off, put that aside. A little chopped up there. More ligaments and tendons. Pull out pretty easy. So from here, just, you know, you pull out the bones, chop up the majority of the meat. Oh, yeah. Give it a twist and pull. Just like bolt. Twist and, and pull. pull. <laughs> <laughs> right, that movie? Twist. You, the pigeons. Oh, yeah. Turn. Twist. Turn, turn, turn and pull. Turn like that. and pull. Movie. That's a kid movie. It's not a growing movie. It's bold. Come on. It's about a boy dog. I no. know, right? It came in a movie. Um, What? what? Yeah. Bolt? Oh, no, I'm kidding. Okay. And pull. And look at that. Boom, boom, boom. I stand. Yeah. Chop it up. Got a couple, some cabbage. And a couple tortillas there. Look at that. Mm. Is that for me? A little me? bit of cabbage. Yeah. And then some of the salsa that we made the other the other day. Boom boom. Alright, I stand. Oh. Mm -hmm. Here. Alright. What do you think? This is how it looks. I'm gonna take a bite. Mmm. The pork is juicy. Stop. There you go. Boom. That's the second one. Oh my god, it's so soft and tender. It's good, huh? Mm -hmm. And it, all it is, salt, pepper, and easy garlic. To break off. Very simple. Really? No. Sunday afternoon, mm -hmm. just go ahead, throw it on the ribs, throw them in the oven, forget about them for a while, come back a little bit later. That's good. Two and a half, three hours is good enough. You know? I might need three of these. If you go a little bit longer, you know, the meat, the meat will fall down, you know, we'll uh, we'll get a little softer and all that. Mm -hmm. But just we're just chopping it up. You know, that's all it took. The put the bones pulled right out. Yeah, the meat is really tender and soft. It's good, you nice and easy. Up. You know, not to bag on you know the barbecue sugar ribs and all that kind of stuff. You know, it, they're great. It's still but good. Sometimes, sometimes, yeah. Sometimes you just you know <laughs> want something a little bit different, the different flavors in your mouth. So, you know, um, I like to do a lot of the the savory, salty, savory that's type flavors. Is, so well. yeah. You know, and I got some acidity with the with the salsa that we made last time. You know, a little bit of a uh, little bit of cabbage, some onions and cilantro is chopped up. Boom, 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 done. Tacos, and you're all set. Mm -hmm. All right. So, so this is uh, um, our my our version of a pork rib carnitas tacos, or you know, um, pork rib tacos. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. all it is. And uh, you know, thanks for thanks for uh, coming along on this one. Um, we have a bunch of new followers, you know, thank you for, you know, uh, subscribing. Uh, remember, like, share, subscribe it, you know, uh, ring that dinner bell button, you know, to get notified every time we put up a video. Um, and uh, thank you, you know, without without you guys, we ain't going to be nothing. So we're having thank fun you. doing this and uh, just come along for the ride. So thanks a lot. See you guys later.